Welcome to School Matters. The school today that we're featuring is Ridgeway Elementary School. We have our principal, Mrs. Kathy Wagonfield, and assistant principal, Mr. Kevin Kernahan. So welcome to you both. Thanks. Thanks. I know, Kathy, you've been on before. So I have. We'll start with Kevin. Tell us a little bit about yourself, Kevin. Sure. Um, I, uh, I'm from the area. I started my educational career in Hamilton. Uh -huh. I went to Pierce Elementary, and then I moved, went to Fairfield uh -huh. in Miami mm -hmm. uh, to my undergrad, and then I got my master's at UC. Um, I moved to Atlanta right after college and taught in Atlanta Public Schools for a while. Oh, uh -huh. And then I came back in Cincinnati Public Schools. And uh, now I'm back in Hamilton and very excited to be here and part of the district and the direction that we're going is just exciting and it's a great time in Hamilton right oh, now. Great. Well, welcome. Thank you. And Kathy, I know, as I said, you've been on the show before, but tell us again a little bit about yourself. I have been in Hamilton for probably 35 years, 36, 37. Um, graduated from Miami, all my degrees. Mm -hmm. Very good. And you've been principal forever, it seems like. Oh, yeah, I <laughs> yeah. have. I and have. Good for yep. you. I, I started out in fourth grade at Lincoln mm -hmm. and then moved on to the principal role. You were both at Monroe and the McKinley Kindergarten mm -hmm. Center. You had yes. dual roles, roles there yep. for a while. Now you're just in one building. Yep. Fair enough. Just one. Yes, one big one. Let's talk about the instructional programs that are going on at Ridgeway, like the new, the new reading and writing um, initiatives that we have going mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. Well, they're very new. We haven't uh, officially adopted anything yet um, that will come next year. We did adopt an intervention program, the LLI, which we discussed at another mm -hmm. School of Matters, um, which has is, is proven to be really successful so far. We're seeing great gains by students with this program, 45 minutes a day for those who need some extra reading intervention. Mm -hmm. So it has been a wonderful program. We're going to move forward with even more for the classroom next year. Very good. And then you think it's working pretty well then, Kevin? Yes, and the, the teachers that are implementing it love it. Um, we've heard a lot of positive feedback. Um, they see the growth, parents mm -hmm. see the growth. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just exciting to see. So we're good. ready to move forward and just completely implement here soon. Good. Well, obviously there's a lot of learning going on in the classrooms, but you guys also have an outdoor classroom. So talk a little bit about that, Kevin. Yeah, it's, it was really exciting when I came there. I, I was new to it as well, and mm -hmm. it, it's just phenomenal. Mm -hmm. um, about six or seven years ago, some of the teachers wrote a grant, and um, right behind the school there, there's that land, and so they kind of created a pathway, and then there's a tree, there's two classrooms back there, you know, tree stumps to sit mm -hmm. on, and the kids go back there, and they do some writing prompts. Um, in the fall, our music teacher does music outside, and she sets out some little Halloween stuff. Um, it's just, it's really exciting. It's a great tool to have. They also have um, these design kits, these outdoor lessons that they can go out and use for each grade level. Mm -hmm. um, and we have a green team that kind of keeps that organized is what they call it. And it's some teachers and students. Mm -hmm. um, and they just do a great job with it. It's a really a nice part of Ridgeway. And I'm sure the kids like to go outside on a nice day. They absolutely love it. And we do have some areas out there just for therapy. So our therapists love to use it out there and they see a lot of gains doing the same things that they would do inside but in a different atmosphere right. and you mentioned the music teacher melinda caswell she was the educator of the year for the harry mm -hmm. t wilkes um, award but she's a phenomenal music teacher and she because she's not busy enough she decided to do a production of wizard of oz oh yes and it was a major production mm -hmm. huge musical we borrowed sets from area schools and colleges we had parents making hundreds of costumes. It was a big ordeal, mm -hmm. like you would see at a high school. Um, and it was wonderful. We had 110 kids, and they all uh, were in the show, mm -hmm. everyone that tried out. Uh, yeah, we, we were flabbergasted. It was amazing. We did it at Garfield, mm -hmm. so the kids got to participate on a real stage and a real right. auditorium. Two shows. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, Mrs. Caswell has her hands in a lot of things mm -hmm. and she doesn't seem to get tired. She's in charge of our homecoming float every year. She does all of our music programs. She's in charge of the Veterans Day program. Uh, she's, a, she's just a really go-getter mm -hmm. and she, uh, she likes to be involved. And another gem, keeping with the fine arts theme, is your art teacher, Terry Haynes Tony. She does some phenomenal work as well. She does all sorts of things. Um, she does our empty bowls, which I think is, has become popular um, across the city. Right. And uh, we do that every year in November. She does, um, she partners with the Fitness Center and we have displays there a couple times a year, mm -hmm. which is wonderful that um, our kids and parents get to participate in that atmosphere. Mm -hmm. um, she does, uh, she has a program with Miami that she's involved in. 
and they come to our buildings, students, and they are partnered with teachers and they help create art that goes with what the teachers are teaching mm -hmm. and Terry kind of oversees that and it's become a wonderful program. Kevin, talk about the collaboration that she does between I think it's your first graders, sixth graders, and then high school students. Yes, um, she did a project where the first graders you know drew a picture and then it was passed along to our high school students who you know created it like a, you know a, a ceramic figure mm -hmm. and then it comes back and then the sixth graders partner with the first graders to write a story about mm -hmm. you know their figure and then they were displayed at the fitness center mm -hmm. and it was just you know amazing to see and it was really neat to see that collaboration between you know the three generations of, yeah. of uh, our schools and she always does observe the moon with yes, the telescopes she does. yes she took special classes in order to even get that telescope <laughs> right yeah. Yeah. She's well. So you're very fortunate to have yes. two strong fine arts absolutely. teachers that go really above and beyond. They absolutely and do. And the children really yes, enjoy it. Yeah, it's, the it's, kids benefit. Right. Absolutely. Both of them are really focused on just providing good experiences for our students. Mm -hmm. And then it's hard to believe, but this is the the final grading period, the fourth quarter. And you had a fanfare the first day. I guess it's the first day of the fourth quarter where you had parents and community members come and give a high five to the students. Yes, we did. It was it was a great thing. You know, the kids were at first everybody the kids were looking around like why is uh -huh. all those people standing here? But as they started to go and our parents lined up at both entrances and were just giving high fives and you know positive comments and it just really started the day off in a great way. The kids enjoyed it. We had a lot of community members and parents come out. Um, it was it was a really good way to start the. And you class said the semester. students enjoyed it, which I'm sure they did. But I'm sure the adults got more out of it as well. Absolutely. Kids at heart. Absolutely. And, you know, community outreach, you know, you guys do such a good job with that. Talk about um, your Adopt-A-School program. You're very strong in that. Um, so tell us some things that you guys do for that. Uh, well, we are partners with Fifth Third Bank mm -hmm. and we love Fifth Third Bank. They provide a wonderful program for our fifth graders um, revolving around money and finances. Uh, they learn a lot. They come for an hour once a week for about 10 weeks. Mm -hmm. And then they provide our fifth graders with a special graduation mm -hmm. and one or two field trips um, that go along with uh, the finances. Um, also, we're, we're partners with the local church down the street mm -hmm. where we help on the first Tuesday of every month serve food mm -hmm. to area um, families that are in need of a, a dinner. Mm -hmm. And Kevin, it's important, as we always say, to have the community come in and that financial literacy piece, which is very important, you know, for students to have a better understanding of, of finances. But you said they, they draw a lot of people coming in from the various bank branches. <laughs> Absolutely. They actually, they had typically done two sessions of it mm -hmm. and um, they had to kind of put it off at the first of this year. It was something on their end and they were I'm at the bank and they're like, oh, we're, we want to come back. Uh -huh. you know, we were going to get it set up in the spring and we're so excited. And they just love the kids. Right. Um, it's just a great experience. Every time I'm in a bank, you know, somebody's talking about uh -huh. it. Um, I want to come back in. Absolutely. And That's they just, great. you know, teaching the kids and the kids really, it's an eye opener mm -hmm. for them. Um, and, you know, they're soon to start that field trip and it's a college experience. And they, mm -hmm. you know, they provide that. They go to Miami and they, mm -hmm. you know, they get students to talk to them, they get to eat in the dorm. And, right. And then going to that Madisonville bank where you, know, you yep. get to see the big money room and right. all the, you know, the back ends of it. So it's, it's a great program, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, and it's, you know, they do it absolutely, you know, they volunteer. And so Fifth Third's been a long-standing adopt-a-school partner for our school, so good for them. I know you're very passionate about character. Actually, you won a nice award recently, Heroes of Character. Um, and talk about Fill the Bus, because as a district, we've done that from for several years now. I know you did it again this year, mm -hmm. help fill a bus for the shared food harvest. We did, we did. We still have our, our character commi committee and we're very active. We come up with things monthly um, at the beginning of every school year. And we, we come up with themes that can involve both the staff and the students mm -hmm. and sometimes the parents. And we try to make it a learning activity as well. Mm -hmm. um, so yes, we, we voted to continue uh, fill the bus and we were able to fill one complete bus this Takes year. Takes 88 boxes to it fill does. a bus, we know. Yep, so and we were happy to, to uh, donate that to Shared Harvest. Another way of ca showing character through compassion is Mrs. Arnold does a Socktober where they collect socks for a month. Correct, yes. Um, that was back in the fall, I believe, mm -hmm. yes. And that's just something that is, is student-led as well, mm -hmm. and Mrs. Arnold uh, rolls with it every year, and we're able to donate a lot of socks. And you talked about empty bowls again. Kudos to Terry Haynes, Tony, she brought it into, into our district, and you guys have done it for many years now. 
and and you're right more people are, more organizations are doing it but that's just another another piece of showing good character and absolutely. showing compassion for those less fortunate absolutely so and and not only you get a nice you know creative bowl too and it's just a nice feel good thing you should do that in november right before we the holidays do. we try to do it around thanksgiving mm -hmm. and this year um around the holidays you really went above and beyond by helping a family in need at christmas time so explain a little bit about that and how you got involved we we typically help many families every year from our school absolutely um at least i'm gonna say 30. Mm -hmm. oh no as far as just with gifts and, and mm -hmm. meals we were over 70, 70 right. families this yes. year. so we we worked very hard on that getting local people to help donate plus teachers mm -hmm. and parents so we provide a lot of gifts at the holiday this, this year yes we did um we helped another family who is in need um got a lot of donations it ended up being about a $30,000 donation. Yes, that's great. Yeah. Very nice of you to do that. And Kevin, part of that is too the student council. I know they've been doing some creative things as well. So talk about student council. Yeah, absolutely. That was um, at the beginning of the year, uh, Mrs. Wyville and I talked about just how are we going to you know, get our student council a little bit more involved this year because we have such a great group of students that mm -hmm. really wanted to be. And uh, so that was a focus this year. So we created a student council wall that, you know, as you walk in our building and kind of down the hallway, there's all their pictures. Um, and then they earn stars for the different things that they do. Um, and they've just been, they jumped right on it. The kids were so excited. You know, they, parents come in, wow, that's a great wall. Now what grades are, is your student council? It's fifth oh, and sixth. Fifth and sixth, okay. Um, and we, you know, we made it a little bit more challenging to them this year. We created a compact that, you know, they had to follow right. and, you know, had to meet certain expectations. And they've just done a great job. They've, you know, volunteered at the church. Um, mm -hmm. They volunteer at you know empty bowls, all the events, mm -hmm. um, and you know as administrators, some of the best things you, you hear from people that come in that we don't even really know. Those kids are just you know so, mm -hmm. so well mannered and so mm -hmm. helpful. Um, you know I was just so proud of them. Mm -hmm. You know they're just and they just jumped on it. You know they're kind of star if I yep. do this at home or if I work you know volunteer here and parents call in and it's just they've really done a great job we're real proud of our kids sounds like they're true ambassadors for the school they absolutely are. and true leaders you know as they move great on. role models right the little ones look at that wall mm -hmm. and they 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 want to be on student sure some days so. we'll talk about the change for charity i know we have some stuff here we do and that's just uh something we do four times a year and it was started years ago when ki some kids wanted to help a charity and they thought, well, maybe if we could sell something at lunchtime and then somebody else wanted to. And so we said, well, why don't we just do this maybe four times a year and whoever wants to be involved can. We actually had a change for charity today. Mm -hmm. It was our last one of the school year. Um, kids apply, they fill out an application and the parents uh, sign off on it and they can bring in items to sell and then they donate, donate it to the charity of their choice. Mm -hmm. Um, now, we do all the donating through our PTO. Mm -hmm. uh, we donate well over $2,000 a year just through this little thing. Some of the samples, it is Easter time. Oh, cute. Uh, I was able to buy all these plus much more oh. today. <laughs> I like um, that. Here's a nice little flower that's been recycled out of spoons. Mm -hmm. Another wonderful little flower uh -huh. created. Some chocolate covered pretzels, all, all kinds right. of great things that kids will make. Um, we have face painting. We, you can even get your nails polished. Oh, there you go. <laughs> and like you said, it's up to the students to decide which charity they pick. So they're really involved and really into it. Absolutely. Well, that's great. Um, also, we, we talked about, um, going back to Terry Haynes, Tony, partnerships. You know, you work with the Fitness Center for, uh, for a long time, but your parent groups are very strong, too. So talk about your parent group. Yeah, well, our parent group is out of this world. We have so many parents and grandparents that give of their time, whether it's at home doing things, whether it's at our meetings, at our special events. Um, we can name some of the things. Uh, they do two huge book fairs a year, mm -hmm. which we love, and we do not take the cash profit. We take it in books, and we um, one of the things we get is a. a informational text magazines mm -hmm. for every grade level that the teachers use as an instructional tool and it has become a wonderful tool for learning especially that informational text um, that would have cost us about six thousand mm -hmm. dollars to purchase for everyone in the school so mm -hmm. that's a, a wonderful um, gift to the children um, they 
do an outreach. They have an emergency fund that they use just to help families who might have a need. Maybe oh. they had a, a death in the family. Maybe something has happened. So we, they do have a special fund for that mm -hmm. when needs arise. Um, yeah, they um, also one of the things that's great for our teachers is they're so supportive. You know, they mm -hmm. did a lot of stuff providing meals during Teacher Appreciation Week. Um, when we have conferences, you know, the three times yeah. a year, they bring in soups and different meals and right. drinks. Mm -hmm. um, they're just they're so supportive. It's mm -hmm. phenomenal. And, and then we have two dances. We have a uh, father, daughter, and mother, son, and I mean our parking lot was packed. Yeah. I mean it was, it was, it was really exciting. Um, mm -hmm. I got a chance to take my daughter there. I um, mean it was, it was great for me. I mean they take a picture and they give you a keepsake, and mm -hmm. we had limbo. It was Hawaiian night, <laughs> nice. Yeah. I mean it was just, it was really exciting, and we had a great involvement. It's just. Uh, we're blessed to have such a you know involved PTO, and it's great that they you know they raise money, but they give it right back to the school yep, with instructional absolutely. needs or whatever, or, or if, like you said, a family in need. So Correct. I think that that says a lot. Cosan well. wheels, they bring Cosan wheels in. Was it just mm -hmm. the other day? Some one of our uh, prescription or subscriptions ran out, and I mean it took like yes, yes, you're right. Mm -hmm. Was it brain pop? Brain pop. Bra brain pop. It oh, brain ran pop. out, and mm -hmm. we made a call, and then it was turned back on. Thirty yeah. minutes. <laughs> yeah. She took care. The PTO took care of it. So See, that's just great. It's it's great to have. You know, it's so important to have the community and the parents involved. Mm -hmm. As, as I said earlier, I think they get more of a, out of it sometimes than the students mm -hmm. do. Keeps them a little young as well. But I think when you get people into the schools, they could see all the good things that are going on and they feel a whole lot better. Because you, you know, you could drive by the schools not really knowing what's going on in those four walls. So it's great mm -hmm. to get people in there to see. Absolutely. So very good. I know you do skating parties. End of the year, you always do a carnival. So again, fundraising efforts to help, help the all school. All through PTO. Right. Yeah. Well, it sounds like it's very evident you guys have got a lot going on at Ridgeway. It seems like a very exciting school, and we, we appreciate do. you guys sharing, I'm, sharing I'm all the information. We're now just talking about oh. it all. We do a lot of things, and I'm very proud of our school. I'm yes. proud of our um, staff, our students, and our parents. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a great place to learn. Yeah. Well, you know, you can't do it by yourself. It, it truly takes a village, and we appreciate you sharing, sharing everything that's going on. Thank you. Thank you. And we thank you for sharing your day with us. We'll see you next time on School Matters because school matters.